today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the head on this International 484. Hey guys, welcome back. We got a blown head gasket, I'm pretty sure, on this International 484 tractor. I'm gonna be making a two-part video on this little project. Uh, the first video, I'm gonna tear it down uh, pull the head off of it and see what exactly is wrong with it. If it's a blown head gasket or cracked head. And then the second video, we'll be putting it back together. So make sure to subscribe and have that notification bell on. That way uh, you'll get notified when this other video comes out. So a little info on this tractor. Uh, we had it out in the field working. Water pump went out on it, overheated. So I replaced the water pump, put a new radiator in it because it was leaking too. Thought we were all good to go. But I got it all back together and it was pressurizing the coolant system, blowing radiator hoses off. So I know I either got a blown head gasket or a uh, cracked head. So we're going to go ahead and pull this thing apart and see what kind of problems we have with it. Really excited about getting this tractor back to work because it's a really handy tractor around the farm. So we're going to go ahead and start by removing uh, the exhaust manifold intake manifold and just get everything off the head before we pull it off just to make it a little bit easier so let's go ahead and remove this exhaust manifold pretty easy to get to except for one bolt that is uh, way up under there but you can get it with a wrench and i've been soaking those bolts for the last couple days with some pb just to make it a little easier so let's go ahead and get these bolts over here It actually pulled the whole stud and everything out. If you don't have a Milwaukee impact, I would recommend them. They're pretty awesome. I'll show you that bolt that's way up under there. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's hard to see, but you can see my wrench where it's at. <clears throat> it's definitely not the easiest bolt to get to, but... You can get it. So close. There we go. We should just have one more at the bottom here. Just like so. All right, we got the exhaust manifold off. This is, by the way, a three cylinder international d179 engine so they put these in quite a few different tractors so should be pretty similar if you got that same engine let's go ahead and take this coolant tube off of here all right we'll go ahead and take this coolant line off here probably good to go ahead and replace this anyway All right, we got everything removed on this side, so we'll go ahead and move to the other side. What we'll do here is we'll move these injector lines from the pump, uh, remove this intake manifold, and maybe this bracket up here, and I think we can pull the head off after that. Hey guys, make sure to check the description down below because I'll put any parts that I use on this project down there, so it'll be easy to get to for you. Let's go ahead and start taking these lines off this injection pump here. All right, we'll go ahead and pull the lines off the injectors. I'm gonna get this all pressure washed before I put it all back together and get some of this stuff painted up while I got it apart. Go ahead and zip this bracket off. Pull this fuel line off. Now we can work on getting this intake manifold off. It's pretty easy to get to. Just 
just like so. Cover up this injection pump lines. Keep some dirt out of it. Okay, we can go ahead and pull the valve cover off. Stuck on that stud a little bit, I think. There we go. All right, I think we can get this rocker assembly off in one piece. Just take these four nuts off of this here. like so. I like to put my push rods back in the same spot. That's why I make a little uh, little diagram here and we can just pull the push rods out and then just stick them in this little diagram here. That way we get them back in the right spot. Come on, baby. So just like that, we know where to put them back. Don't have to worry about that. All right, now we should be able to take these head bolts out. If you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 14 bolts all together. Hold this head on there. Get those out, then we should be able to lift his head off of here. All right, start taking these head bolts off. That one feels a little tight. Man. Like it's gonna break. Got them all broke loose. We'll zip some of these out. These few bolts in the middle are a little hard coming out. So maybe that's where gasket or head is cracked. Dang, these bolts are working. That was an ornery bolt. Down to the last bolt. Whew. He's a tight one. Just doesn't want to let go. Now the head's loose. It looks like it's just stuck in the head now. So, you can go ahead and pull this head off. Hey guys, if you're getting any value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. All right, let's get this head off of here. That bolt just stuck in the head, so we'll pull these studs out here and I think we can just pull it on out this way, maybe. Not the lightest thing here. Turn it sideways just a hair. All right, we got the head off of there. Now we can kind of check and see 
if we can visually see uh, the bad head gasket or, or any other problems here. All right, after looking at everything, there's nothing that's like super obvious where this head gasket was blown. I mean, overall, it's in pretty bad shape. You can kind of see. So, I mean, I see a few spots on here that it could be, but not 100% sure. Like this spot was real bad here. And I think it correlates to this spot on the head. And you can kind of see it could be in the getting in that water jacket there. See on this side, they don't use these water ports. They're just kind of blocked off, but here's the three main ports, four main ports here on the head that water flows through. Take a look at the block over here. Just need some cleaning up. It's pretty nasty. It's really hard to tell where that was blown or even if it was blown, it could be a cracked head. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this head to the machine shop, get it cleaned up, get it checked out, see if we have the problem there. Uh, if the head's all good to go, I'll get this block all cleaned up and we'll put a new gasket on there and see what happens. All right, guys, that's all there is to taking the head off one of these tractors. Uh, not too bad. Stay tuned for part two of this video where I'm going to be putting it back together. I'm going to take the head to the machine shop, get some new gaskets ordered. I'll make that second video and we'll get it back together and uh, let's see if we can get it running. So that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, if you got any value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Consider subscribing to the channel and... Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.